Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Um, I know you've gone through a lot here lately. Have you had a chance to see Ryan Priest's accident? And what kind of what do you see from your viewpoint if you've been able to look at any replays? No, I um, actually Bob offered me a, a chance to see the replay, and I didn't want to see it yet. Um, but I did. Uh, uh, Ryan is is a good friend of mine, and um, also uh, her and my, my spotter. Him and Ryan are close as well. So. Uh, at least while we were at Victory Lane, got word that uh, you know he's at the hospital, that they're running through a lot of stuff, and that he is doing well. So um, that that's good to hear. Um, you know, obviously, don't know the the full details, and all I seen was just uh, little frames of it um, while we were under caution, and uh, didn't realize it for you know two or three laps. I don't think I just seen that you know car was in the infield down the back stretch, and, and the nose was messed up, and um, I guess it just happened to be down the front straightaway when it was on one of the monitors, and um, realized how wild that that one was uh no clue the cause no clue how it actually got to the, the extremity that it did but um certainly glad to hear that he's doing good and he's still still getting checked out but um definitely hoping the best for him. he's posted a message on social media awesome. so he posted something out there saying he's i'll he says i'm coming back awesome um <laughs> i know every accident is different so I don't want to be comparing apples and apples, but can you give a sense of? Um, You're going to ask me what it's like being upside down. Well, you? you know, you yours kind of <laughs> once it hit the ground, it really kind of picked up, and his was yep. one that at one point it really kind of <clears throat> rotated r rather quickly. Now he rotated more than ten times, so it was nothing like yours in that sense. So yeah, uh, anything at, at Super Speed races is scary when uh, when you have upside down moments, right? So. Um, my rookie season with, with front row when we flipped at Talladega wasn't a bad one whatsoever. Um, very slow. The only thing that hurt was landing back on all four. Um, the Charlotte rollover certainly knocked me around a good bit and, and jarred me. So um, I think I would compare it more to that one from what I've seen. Um, certainly looked very violent and uh, and, and very airborne. So um, it, it just it beats you up. It, it's no... Like I said, I haven't seen it, so I don't know how uh, how big of a sudden stop or, or one major impact along the way. I just know that it it was painful just in, in the fact that it, it's it's knocking you around so many different directions so quickly. Um, it just doesn't doesn't feel good. There, there's no way to go about it now. Uh, you know, appreciative of uh, how safe our race cars are, and I think that um, you know, as a as an industry, sometimes we forget that it is dangerous still, and um, and that can certainly lead to some of our, our wilder moments. But um, it, it's it's a dangerous sport, and uh, and we know that getting in, um, you know, sometimes we push it a little too far to the back of our minds, and um, you know, got to uh, got to remember it. So uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, like I said, I, without seeing it to be able to give too much, but um, that I know that it was jarring just from the, the little bit that I have. Chris, congratulations. Three wins on the season. Talk about this year, your team, how you guys have been able to do it. Yeah, unbelievable. At this point, um, you know, there's uh, been a lot going on and, and certainly uh, talked about after um, even Richmond itself, but but surely after uh, Michigan, talked about kind of hitting our momentum at the right time. And, um, you know, this is a, another big step in the, in the right, right direction. So, um, you know, I, I think... Uh, First and foremost, uh, this uh, this was as much RFK win and, and Brad's win as it was ours. I mean, that was uh, the exact push we needed for the entire two laps coming back to the checker. And um, you know, I, I, we wouldn't be sitting up here with, without him and uh, and us executing that that way. Uh, it's what we've tried to do when we've gone speedway racing. Uh, kind of committed to it at a lot of places here in the 500. Led all the way to what three or four to go, and um, and then ended up getting uh, getting separated. So. Uh, we, we planned this out. We've worked hard to uh, to find ourselves in these situations. Uh, we, we've just been needing to to capitalize and close a deal in the last two percent of these races, and um, we we're finally able to do that tonight. So, um, huge moment to uh, to do it here at Daytona uh, to uh, to close out the regular season this way. Um, surely, uh, surely a, a big moment for us. Great momentum. Um, I, I, I hate even saying it like this, but probably good for points and uh, and what we got uh, ahead of us as well. And um, we've got some really uh, really fun races, race tracks coming up for us that uh, that we've been really excited about even before uh, getting that checkered flag tonight. So I'm uh, certainly certainly pumped up for where we're at as an organization, the, the momentum we've had, the consistency, and uh, and the flexibility we've had at, at all different styles of race tracks. So um, 
I, I mean, I think it's uh, safe to say we're, we're going to be a contender as we, we head into the playoffs now. We'll go ahead and open it up for questions. We'll start right here to right, and then go to Jerry. Hey, Chris. Uh, Chris Gollum, Newsday, Turner Beach. Um, first off, uh, just congratulations. Uh, I actually want to ask you the same thing I asked your crew chief, which is uh, now you, you got three wins going into the playoffs, which I think it's safe to say you guys exceeded expectations. Um, I'm wondering, do you feel like you guys as a team are a championship favorite? Um, I, I think we're we're a contender. We, we still have work to do. Uh, I don't think we're, we're under the uh, the illusion that, that says uh, – you know, it it's, has to go through us and us only right now. Uh, we, we've got uh, tracks we still need to be better at, and, uh, and we've got um, work to, uh, to do as a group and, uh, and as, a, as a team to uh, get in the hunt. But uh, I surely feel confident about our, uh, our ability to drive through the playoffs and, uh, and feel like we could certainly be a contender in this thing. So, um, you know, I, I feel like I'm not, uh, I'm not able to get up here and uh, – and, and, and quite say that yeah this is ours it's in the bag but um um you know there's been definitely several teams that uh, that have been very very stout this season as well right and uh, you know uh, the 24 is on what five so uh, yeah i mean we certainly we're going to have a, a hard fight but um we're in a heck of a spot and couldn't ask to be in any better right now as we we head into um really the, the time that last season we kind of hit our stride on on the year um you know, with uh, Darlington is one of my favorite racetracks. Bristol's my favorite. Uh, so, you know, heading back to where we got that win last year is obviously, you know, that uh, puts a lot of confidence in us. Um, and then Kansas is a place we've been pretty fast at in the past, too. Just got to work on uh, a little more execution. So, you, know, you look at the first round, uh, I, I'm excited for it. And as we keep moving through, uh, you know, and everybody will tell you, everybody's had bad luck through the season. I'm, I'm under – uh, no impression that that's not the case, but just think about our, our year about this time or into the playoffs last season and able to um, to be leading at Texas when, when we had a tire failure there and uh, ran so competitive at the Roval. I mean, there's there's really good opportunities for us still to still to come. So um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel very confident that we have a lot of potential over the next uh, next ten weeks here. Thanks, Chris. We're gonna go to Jerry and then to Edgar. Jerry Jordan kicking the tires.net. Um, back in January, we all came over to RFK and went in the well, toured and had lunch and worked, you know, the workout room there. And you, you told us that this was going to be a different year. And, uh, and is this win uh, this season, but specifically tonight, closing out the regular season, is this more of a statement of that, uh, you know, kind of a statement win for you? Um, you know, I, I would say that it's. Um, it, it's for RFK in a lot of ways. Um, you know, we know how much has gone into uh, to getting everything to look like it, it does right now for for y'all to be able to come in and um, you know the, the human form, performance center and uh, the investments that have been made by our group. Um, you know, it, it's really cool to see. I, I've been there for you know f fifteen years at, at RFK, right, and um, you know, seen it in, in a lot of different uh, different scenarios and. Um, so proud of it right now and realize the work that's gone in and to get it to this point right now and to get it to what it looks like and what we're able to accomplish and how competitive we are. Um, and also realize that, that, that came at, um, at a rather large inconvenience for a lot of our people through the times, uh, as well, and that it wasn't easy to, uh, to do this. So, um, you know, just, I, I think it's for everybody at RFK as a whole that, that says, look, this is, this is what we did. We know it was hard. Uh, we know, uh, uh, you know, it didn't make sense to everybody at, at all at one time, but that um, it's worth it. Like, like this is this is a result of, of putting in that effort and um, and really working hard to find speed at all these different styles of racetracks. So, uh, for us, I, I'm I'm proud for our selfishly our own group as much as um, as anybody else, and not not to uh, make a statement. To, uh, to to anybody else other than ourselves, that um, you know, this is this is hard work paying off for us to be able to be here right now. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, heck of heck of a time to uh, to do this right as we head to the playoffs. You know, certainly gets everybody pumped up. Um, get to put another another trophy sticker on our uh, on our wall of uh, of uh, uh, success, I, I guess. But um, you know, how we we grade ourselves internally, we get to uh, add more more stickers up there and. Um, 
I don't know it, it just makes me makes me happy for everybody uh, with, within our group that's um, you know put their, their blood sweat and tears in this thing to make it successful uh, I'm just fortunate to be up here and get to be covered in champagne and and uh, talk to y'all at the end of the evening but um, a lot of a lot of moving pieces to get to this point you know, you know your career your Xfinity Series successes we know how you you got your first cup series win things like that but this season has been kind of a breakout for you is that do you go into the playoffs kind of you know with your chest pumped out a little bit a little bit I mean um yeah it's certainly uh before even before Richmond this was uh, kind of it, it was a highlight year for me uh, on the cup side um you know been uh, been running here since 2016 and um you know if you go through the years it's been just a, a steady uh, progression not uh, nothing earth shattering and uh, and have kind of worked hard to, to find our way but certainly uh, last season felt like we we did a lot of good things but um it took us too long to get there and uh you know we ended up missing the playoffs um uh, being able to to win a race um in the playoffs not participating um but certainly felt like that momentum would carry over into this season and uh, and it has we've been competitive at a lot of places we've had chances to win a lot and um you know for, for me that's certainly a, a highlight year for for myself and and for our, our group so um yeah i mean it it it, it makes you feel feel pretty confident as we head in the playoffs, knowing that um, you know certainly the last what five weeks have been um, massive highlights. But um, but there's been a, a lot of lot of days and a lot of finishes that I've been very proud of throughout the season, and um, that's uh, combining those with with what we've done you know here as of late. That that's what gives me the most confidence heading into the playoffs is that that we're going to be flexible and we're going to be good at lots of different places. We'll come down here to Edgar. Yeah, Chris, Edgar Thompson, Orlando Sentinel. What? So you win Pocono as a rookie, I'm looking at, and then I don't know the whole all the circumstances there, but then you go a long time without. That's that's good. That means the history books didn't give all the circumstances. So it just says win. Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> that's what everyone said it would do, so uh, I'm, I'm glad that's there. Well, it goes, it goes, uh, go, you went a while. Change teams a time or two. What? How'd you stay the course? Just what? What was the key to kind of maintaining confidence and positivity? Uh, I mean, it's hard. You, you, um, I would say, I don't, I don't know everybody's stats, but if you went through our garage area, everybody has been winners throughout their careers, uh, from starting off whether it was uh, quarter midgets or legends cars, late mile racing. Everybody in, in our series is winners, and. Um, uh, it's hard to not win. It's hard to be a competitor and, and not win. And so uh, certainly difficult through years where you feel like you're you're doing your best to run 15th at times. Um, you know, you, you get excited when you can get to a top five and uh, then you get a, a second place along the way and you're mad that you were that close and couldn't get the job done. So um, uh, it, it has its, uh, its ups and downs, but certainly um, uh, the, the realization that your successes through the years have gotten you to the top level of motorsports um, that it's going to require a lot of work and dedication to uh, be able to get those checkered flags and those wins. And it's going to be um, a matter of surrounding yourself with, with the best people that can help you get there. Uh, you know, that's what, what keeps you going, knowing that, that there's always a buildup, that there's always progression. Um, and, and I feel like, you know, we've been really close at, at lots of times through the years and, um, you know, in seasons past, maybe there's been three highlights on a season. And that's not many, right, when, when you come off and you're used to winning every other week at your local short track. But um, uh, certainly this season has kept you in, uh, in much better spirits as we go uh, go to each racetrack, thinking that um, this is a great chance for us to um, at least compete for a top ten consistently and uh, in a lot of places feel like we're going to be competitors to win. And getting with Rouse and uh... – 2020 how big a game changer was that and what in what ways was it yeah so I, i've been um i've been with roush since i was 15 years old so I, i've always um, been under the umbrella here so uh you're good you're good but um it, it was a a homecoming of sorts right to um to be back in well for the first time to be in a cup car for for roush um spent a lot of years uh, at uh at at the shop in concord working in the shop uh putting other driver seats in in what I felt like were my race cars. Um, eventually downgraded to uh, the special projects guy because I think I worked too slow and they just needed me out of the way. But um, got to know a lot of people within our entire uh, facility and um, uh, got 
a ton of friends throughout our building. So coming back um, and, and being able to, you know, re uh, reunite with, with those people is surely made it a lot uh, a lot more rewarding to, to have the successes now. Do we have any questions in the press box? No questions from the press box. Okay, we'll go to Holly and then to Dustin. Congratulations, Chris. And Thank I you. apologize if you answered this. I was doing a couple of things, but Bubba, after the race, declared his love for you <laughs> and says that this is uh, makes everything cool. But, you know, just kind of your yeah. thoughts on that. No, it was. Uh, it, it heard afterwards that, that they made the playoffs uh, as well. So um, certainly know how how fun that is and how uh, you know that's a good measure of success on your season. So um, yeah, I mean from uh, going back to those Roush days, right, where we had uh, four four Xfinity cars and, and it's us as teammates along with um, how was it Sadler and, and Ryan Reed, right? So uh, spent a lot of time together and raced around each other a lot and. Um, kind of uh, have been on different paths for, for a little while and uh, to, um, to have him come to Victory Land was certainly cool and uh, um, you know congratulations to them as well for, for making the playoffs because that's uh, it's hard to do and <laughs> we know that because we, we've been trying for uh, for a lot of years but um, it's a big accomplishment. 